Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called PHP Syntax, and in this lecture we're going to learn about the basic syntax of PHP. There are a few things that you should know about PHP Syntax. I will be using the w3schools.com PHP Syntax webpage to show you. So PHP script is obviously executed on a server like MAMP, and a PHP script can be placed anywhere in the document. In our case, we'll be using HTML documents, and the PHP can be anywhere. It's good to note that PHP scripts always start with this opening bracket, question mark PHP, and always end with question mark and closing bracket. So it looks a little bit like this. Obviously, the default file extension for PHP files is .php. That's why you see in our code that we just worked on in the previous lecture, we have index.php and practice.php. Those are PHP files, therefore the extension is .php. Here's an example of how to use PHP. It's very similar to the one we used in our first page practice, PHP. So we're just having uh, an echo statement here within a couple PHP tags. You can also do comments in PHP, just like every other pro programming language, HTML, CSS, JavaScript, blah, 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 blah. And they look a little bit like this. So there's a single line comment with two forward slashes. There is an alternative version of a single line comment, which uses a pound sign. And you could do multi-line comments with a forward slash asterisk, and then you write all your stuff in the middle of it, and then you can do asterisks and forward slash. Let's talk a little bit about PHP case sensitivity. So user-defined functions like if, else, while, echo, print, those types of things, which we'll get there. I don't expect you to know anything about that right now. They are not case sensitive. So for example, in these three echo statements, you can see uh, they're using a bunch of different ways that, of using the case sensitivity. So all uppercase, lowercase, and a mix of both. And they all pr echo the same thing. So this means it is not case sensitive. So the user defined functions are not case sensitive. However, on the flip side, PHP variables are case sensitive. So for example, in these variables, uh, this variable here, we're using color equals red. So if you were to echo that color, this one would actually print the color. This one would not because there is no variable that is set with all caps. And this one would also not display anything because there is no variable that looks like this. So this is case sensitive. So that was the super fast, super quick rundown of PHP syntax. It's, uh, it's very simple, but kind of boring. And you're going to be learning it as we go. So that's why I didn't want to touch too much on it. So let's uh, get our hands dirty and jump into the next lecture, which is PHP variables. See you there, my friends.